My name is Mo Nishiyama, and I used to be a notorious multitasker. If I wasn't doing at least a couple things at once, I felt like I was underachieving. For over 25 years, I combined bicycling with listening to music, and I prioritized listening to music over bicycle safety. Batteries for my Walkman was more important to me than batteries for my bike lights. Noise-canceling headphones were more important to me than water-repellent reflective jacket. And I used to do a lot of stupid things when I would bike and listen to music at the same time, like holding up an entire bike lane full of traffic while I casually stopped, took out my Walkman, swapped out cassettes, put a new cassette back in, while there's a traffic jam behind me on the bike lane, because I didn't care. And all the people who tried to tell me to ditch the headphones, not safe for you, blah, 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 to me, they felt like parents who were ordering their kids to eat your vegetables. I couldn't go for that because listening or not listening to music while cycling, I felt like a fish out of water because music was my sanctuary. It was something that got me in the mood. And frankly, music enjoyment was more important to me than my health or my safety. Well, other cyclists carefully plotted the safest and the most efficient way to get from point A to point B. I didn't care. All I was concerned about was how many songs are going to take me to get from point A to point B. Now, a couple of years ago at work, we had a presentation given by a colleague, a woman who's a massive bicycle advocate, and she went through the list of bicycle safety tips, and of course, no headphones. And I'm like, really? But then, Two dozen people in the room all turned to me and said, no headphones. So, you know, peer pressure. Back in the days of high school, that's when people tried to get you to do things like sex, drugs, and sour beer. But now these people are trying to say, you know, why don't you just learn to be unitasking instead of multitasking? And they did that by appealing to my ego. They asked me, Mo, how are you going to travel to all the places in the world if you're seriously hurt? How are you going to change the world if you are dead? Why don't you go ahead and give this unplugging thing a try? And I thought about it because when peer pressure comes from people who are close to you, it carries more weight. They weren't trying to tell me to eat my vegetables. They were saying, hey, what can you do with these vegetables? Challenge yourself. So challenge I did. And I discovered several things. Back in the 1990s, the cars on the road were loud and proud. Nowadays, you see all these hybrids, electrics, and all these little fancy cars out there who can't even compare to the noise in my headphones. And also, unplugging may, may gave me more time to think about the nature of commuting. And I realized that no matter what mode of transportation that we choose to engage in, we have one thing in common, and that is to get to our destination safely. I know that of several hundred of you in the audience, one or more of you may have inadvertently cut off a bicyclist while making a right turn. As a victim of those in past, I used to get so indignant and angry. I would go ahead and do the Dikembe Mutombo thing, <laughs> Kanye West thing, or a Trent Reznor reaction, usually with expletives. But nowadays, when I would get nearly right hooked but the driver stops, I make eye contact, bow down, say thank you. Because I realized that becoming more connect or becoming more aware of the road around me and understanding that people want to get from point A to point B safely give me more faith in humanity. Because to me, I have realized that commuting is a community endeavor. Commuting is no longer about me commuting with the soundtrack in my head. The Pioneer Square in Portland is Portland's living room. If that's the case, I argue that the waterfront park is Portland's hallway. And just like the hallways of my friends' homes, it's filled with clutter and obstacle. And I've realized that all these years of plugging in and going through the waterfront, that was like being adding danger to myself and others around me. Even without headphones, it's a dangerous place to be. But ditching headphones made me realize several things about the waterfront and other places. I can hear people. I can feel connection with people. By unplugging, I became more connected. And I know that there are several cyclists out here tonight who are probably going to not heed my talk and just go ahead and plug in. You know, my position is not to judge because I think everyone's going to find out what works for her or for him. Besides, I got other places where I could plug in in public. Not on two wheels, but in mass transit because as long as I'm not cranking my music loud or 
long as I'm not getting in other people's way, I can still have my own sanctuary where I can rock out in. Thank you.